Hi, in this video we will learn how to add calculations for variances in pivot tables. First we have a database, our sales database, and I will insert a pivot table in a new worksheet. I'm gonna erase those grid lines and also I will make it more readable for a dashboard. I will insert in the rows category the product category and I will insert the margin in the values and for sure I need to have the year in the columns. I will format as a number Control shift one and here we have the first pivot table instance and as you can see I don't need that grand total I just want to have variances a variance so here for example if we will do it extra pivot table we have equal C3 by B3 minus 1 and this will be the variance but I don't want to have it like this because oops sorry if I will have it I will keep it like this when I will play with some filters I will have here a big error so it's not readable, it's not efficient, so you need to add the variance into your pivot table. And for this, first we will go to design, grand totals, remove the totals for our rows, so I will keep on for columns only, and then I will double the margin into the value field. So margin I will bring again in the values area now as you can see we have two amounts which is the same but with option 2 which is sum of margin 2 we'll try to make the difference and for this we will right click on it going to show values as percentage difference from. An open window we will have that will ask you which type of base field and base item do you need. And we need to choose the base field will be the year, so we have the difference between 2019 and previous. Okay, so previous meaning 2018 for sure that we don't have 2017 in our pivot table and in this way we will have a blank column for 2018 difference but let's see it here we go we can hide this and maintain only the percentages from the last column now we have obtained the same values like like we did manually, so equal D4 by B4 minus 1. You see we have the same values but they, they are in the pivot table and if I will select only one category here I will keep the variance without losing any other formulas or without bring noise in our dashboard.